here from Gluten Free For You. And today I'm going to be showing you this really cool After Effects plugin that the guys at Video Copilot have just come out with called Element 3D. And what it does is it allows you to take uh, really easy 3D text is uh, one of the big reasons I got it. But mainly you import 3D models like .obj's or Cinema 4D files into After Effects easily and be able to render them pretty fast. So here's something I whipped up in maybe about two minutes. Alright, so there's that. And so now let's go ahead and get into Element and go ahead and show you what this thing is. So first off, Command Y, create a new layer. Press OK. And now go ahead and type in under Effects and Presets, Element, and you'll see it there under Video Copilot. Drag it in there, and now you see that you've got your uh, Element over here, your interface. And we'll go ahead and click Scene Setup here in a second. Yeah, now once it goes black, you know it's applied. So press Scene Setup, and it brings up this whole window. Element's got its own interface. It's really neat. And so you've got a couple, um, some models that they give you with to start you off with. So um, if you go ahead and drop one of these in here, let's take the flashlight, loads up the model, and there you go. You've got it all right there. You can turn it around. Works pretty fast. The um, responsiveness is pretty good and you see you got these textures here turn them on off so you can kind of break apart the model some models it's more um, pieces to it than just this one anyway so let's get a get the um, take something more um, interesting like blob you can tell that easier what's going on so you can drag your textures and then down here you can edit it all and the reflection intensity it's all pretty neat but anyway so the cool thing here go ahead and cancel is if you go ahead and so 3d text has just become insanely easy in after effects one before it was a hassle and took maybe 30 minutes to get it done let's go ahead and take your text tool type down something size the text accordingly all right now go ahead and take element we've already got that opened up right here under custom layers open up custom text and masks and choose your path layer to glue to your uh, the name of your text and in my case gluten free for you now go to scene setup oh hold on first off hide your uh, layer now gluten free for you now go to scene setup click extrude and there you go 3d text and that's just the starting point, base 3D text. You can go under presets and bevels, and it gives you a ton of whole cool presets. I've done a few myself and saved them, and it saves the, uh, so you can just drag them right on there and instantly have the effect that you made a while back. So that's real cool. Some of the built-in ones are pretty cool. You got pretty nice ones here. Looks pretty nice. And But the coolest thing here is you can come under materials and go ahead and create your own so I could drop that in there and play around with it some more play around with the bevel in here somewhere let's see illumination anyway so this is some pretty cool stuff here so if we go ahead and drop that into After Effects now instantly got that in there let's go ahead and layer new camera press ok now if we take our orbit tool we can just turn this around text will all move around so that's pretty cool you can control all with your AE camera now also add a light go ahead and set the intensity to 110 using a point light drop that in there and this is all affected all these um it's all affected by After Effects lighting, which is really nice. So you can light it all inside of After Effects without having to uh, worry about doing your lighting before importing your models or doing the lighting inside of other programs. So that's really nice. So it help, it'll help you to uh, let it be more realistic uh, compared to the rest of the scene. 
So that's really cool there. And so that's just a quick overview of some of the stuff with uh, Element 3D. If you uh, want to check that out, it's on videocopilot.com. Link is in the .net. Link is in the description, and it costs 150, which is a great price compared to a lot of other pro plugins that do anything close to what it can do. Like uh, Particular, that's well, uh, $400 starter. And uh, I'll be coming out with some more tutorials pretty soon for this, like how to do the particle effects and stuff like that. It's just a quick starting overview. Thanks for watching.